Hello and welcome to Rock Tambayan, where we hang out and talk about whatever we want. Right? Let's go with that. <laughs> My name is Jan, and and it's hot out because that's it the way it is out. here. It's fucking hot. <laughs> Super. Hey, I'm Miggy, and I am looking to get into Warhammer 40k, but I have absolutely no money to do it. Hi, I'm Midge, and. I have a notebook collection. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dish, notebook. and uh, I really like spicy food. I'm JR, and I can't watch anime if it's not English. Don't kill me. Oh. <laughs> it's really only watches them. Because I, oh I have to look at the, the subtitles, yeah, yeah. and I can't watch. Because I don't know. Can't get him to watch Demon Slayer. <laughs> I get that. I get that, but I'm not brave enough to admit it. Because <laughs> I'm gonna get bashed by hardcore fans. So I'm, I'm a super Rurouni Kenshin fan, but it took me until they put it up in Netflix. Because I think that's the only time it had an English dub. The 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 live action, I mean. Subs over dubs. I, I mean, I get both. it. I just I, can't I... visually watch it. So today. Thank you for joining us, all you wonderful people out there. We are talking about the third episode. Yeah, yeah. Third and Third and Third and Yeah, hey, so I'm going to throw this over to Mr. Durden himself, Jan over here. What's up? So What's up? Durden. Yes, sir. Let's start let's start off with how the fuck did you come up with Durden? What's the deal with him? <laughs> well, the name is like my go-to character name for different things, not just D and D and video games usually. Uh, it's for people who have been around, have been you know around my age. You'll recognize the name from Fight Club. What is that? <laughs> what is that? What's this thing my tito talk about? This old movie that you talk of. <laughs> I I am vaguely aware of something where I know you don't discuss it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I don't know when it, when that movie came out, it just blew my mind, and the char- the Brad Pitt character Tyler Durden, it just stuck to me. So I wanted uh, a character that had a connection, obviously, to the islands, but I also wanted. Someone who's not familiar with all the lore, so that he experiences everything for the first time. I don't know. I figured if we're introducing this lore to the world, who don't they don't necessarily know what what this is about, it, it might be good to have a character who's discovering it just as much as they do. But I didn't want to be a complete foreigner, so I wanted my character to have roots in the islands. So I said. Half dad was an immigrant. <laughs> dad moved away um, and came back, and he has to come back home for some reason. It's also yeah. that we want to represent all Filipinos, so that includes people who are not in the Philippines. Hey, we did yeah. that. We hey. totally did that on purpose. I was going for the usual archetype, chivalrous knight, basically S- someone who tr- who. who embodies that kind of virtue that being a hero and all that and i think that fits for the character background when although there is a paladin subclass it's in ona um which i did not pick uh, don't <laughs> i know i'm going to get shit for that <laughs> um You're but weak. i think you know that the, <laughs> the good virtue uh honor and all that the, the knight uh, that fits someone who is heroic, epic fantasy character. So something that I enjoy playing and something that I think audience will relate to also. Something familiar at least that they see. For people who didn't yeah. see the last episode or, or was it or something, that we're, we're, we're saying the, the thing is weak because um, the Sinauna subclasses tend to be better mechanically than... Stronger, a lot stronger. Anything yeah. else? <laughs> Super so, strong. So I don't know if they ba- actually balanced the monsters to the class. So if so, if they did, good luck, Jan. <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see. Um, no, I mean, 
yeah, the flavor wise, because when I read through the the Sinauna subclass for Paladin, I mean, sure, hella strong mechanically, but uh, flavor wise, when I read the description, it felt like this is the kind of guy who tries to protect a single person, right? Mm. Like loyal to a lord or lady, loyal to loyal to a datu, maybe loyal to a loved one, but it felt like protecting a single person was the at least the concept behind the subclass in the way I, I understood it. And what I was going for for my character was not beholden to a single person, but beholden to a group or at least, you know, maybe he starts out beholden to his city. He wants to protect the pe- people, excuse me, the people of the city. And then maybe eventually when he moves to the islands, he starts to He's gonna want to, to, you know, not just one person. So, although the the, the skills and abilities are are pretty strong, uh, uh, I agree with that. Um, I chose not to go with it for this character. Yeah, the, I think they did that on purpose because the the usual comment about paladins is they're boring by most mm. by a lot of people because you're because playing lawful good in the first place is always harder. So it it you're limited to yeah. RPing a certain way, and I think they did that in Sinauna again on purpose because it now it's different because you're lawful good technically, but there can be conflicts when you're because you're serving a person, but you're yeah. lawful good. But what if that person isn't necessarily yeah. doing things for the greater good? So then, then there's in there can be interesting stuff. I think that's what they were going for, and you know. Yeah, probably, but I mean, probably. if you, if it's, that's not the thing, then I get it. But yeah, it, it's it's interesting. It's, good, it's different. It's good. It's interesting, and it's really good. It's just it didn't fit what I had initially thought of my character, where I, at least where I wanted my character to start off. Before I started playing D and I played video games based on Baldur's Gate, and I didn't mm-hmm. know that Baldur's Gate had any connection with D&D yet when I started playing the video games. So there's this uh, part of the lore in Baldur's Gate is there's uh, like a, a mercenaries guild or a, they're, they're called the Bannerless Legion. So I, I was thinking of something like that, that it's a group of, of bounty hunters, but they're all freelance. So sometimes you take on mm-hmm. jobs solo, sometimes you take on jobs with different people. Uh, team up depending on the difficulty of whatever bounty you're you're going for. So, I guess the, the, I had that at the back of my mind when I was thinking, oh, I want guy to be a bounty hunter in the city. Maybe the Boba Fett Mandalorian thing had a little bit of influence. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. We maybe, uh, you know. <laughs> Except Boba Fett wasn't a bounty hunter anymore <laughs> that time. But yeah, sure. In, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anybody else want to know a little something, something about Darden? It should be live so people can ask, but well, yeah. maybe one day. <laughs> one day. When the someday, internet someday. isn't shit. <laughs> <laughs> True. True. So let's go to the randos. Namely, Tish, Medj, and myself. But I'm going last because I'm trying to steer this conversation. Yeah, so Tish, Chestel. Tell us what's up with that. I was actually just bringing in Rin's personality from the previous game into Durden's. But instead of the monk class, I went for Ranger. Because it was a class I did want to try out before in a different campaign. But just never had the chance to do it. I also didn't want to go up front anymore. Because <laughs> it was scary. <laughs> and I didn't like painting a lot in other games. Yeah, sniper's the way to go, man. Mitch. I mean, I just wanted to make a, a random normie for someone who to be like Durden. So like, who's the most average guy? Jerry. Je- I mean, Jerry's the most below average guy, I think, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've never met a guy so dedicated like- to use his rope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that rope thing, it was just like, I don't know, maybe it, it's something that might, like, he strongly believes in something. Maybe it's gonna work out. Maybe it's not. Who knows? <laughs> the rope thing almost worked, though. 
Huh? Mm. S- sounded stupid, but hey, still failed with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dice's fault. But you were a fighter, I think. Yeah, because you, I think I remember you were wearing heavy armor. Were you fighter? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I think because <laughs> uh, oh yeah, or were you commoner because you wanted to be an. <laughs> Commoner. Is that possible? People are gonna start right. thinking that commoner is actually a class because of like every game we have commoner. <laughs> yeah, so going over to me, I made the most stereotypical race and class combination, a Hildor cleric. Life cleric, because I wanted to be sport. Because being support in DD is cool. I gave him the soldier background, and he used to be a medic. And during one of his camp war campaigns, he was in a. I think he was like tending the a children's hospital or something. His, his nickname was Doc, as in doctor. And then the the kids would try to say it, and then it just evolved into Ducky. So he just ran with it. I in thought terms, you were like, terms, what's, "What's a name?" And then you saw your keyboard, and you had a Ducky keyboard. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I have a Spider-Man keyboard, so that's not gonna that's not gonna work. Uh, so <laughs> the cleric <laughs> just call just call him Spider-Man, Spider-Man the cleric. He's just basic, heal everyone, and that's more important than dealing damage. That's basically his whole thing. Let's talk about that first fight. That bullshit. Fight where we couldn't see anything. <laughs> Fuck you, JR. <laughs> well, what were we? Yeah, that was hard. That was. You had that thing outnumbered, outpowered, out everything. We can't but we see couldn't it. See. No? We yeah. couldn't see shit. If Jerry didn't I... use rope, no <laughs> <laughs> if Jerry actually tried to attack. <laughs> Restricted movement? Is that yeah, no, how you say it? We couldn't see. It moved faster than us, and we had uh, difficult Still terrain. Put in. Right, so we couldn't get to it. So it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, that's that, those are the things that were not going for us, right? So it was hard to catch because we didn't know what, where it was. Although it would have been boring if everyone just held actions until it appeared. Showed up. It would have also worked. Yeah, but we didn't know wouldn't. if it but, was you know. attacking us. We didn't know if it was attacking us or it was hunting for something. So if we stood our ground and read the action, it could have just ran away and found something to No, you can run to towards hunt. it and then read the action. Then I run towards it, read the action. But it would, again, it would have been boring, so it's yeah. okay. So, but, but I mean, like, if from a purely mechanical perspective, those weren't bad odds. But but yeah, I mean no one went down so. Yeah yeah no it was just yeah it was challenging to to complete it wasn't challenging mm. that we were under threat it was just challenging that we couldn't catch him. Or who yeah. knows you could have been under threat. <laughs> Maybe one or two rounds later you would have been dying one by one who knows. <laughs> no, it didn't feel at least I was saying it didn't feel like yeah. we were. Yeah you know. Jerry I mean, could have your, failed his deck save and broke a leg I don't know. <laughs> I got I got hit for so much damage. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it hurts so much. Our support was the one dying, and we're like, "Oh shit, what's oh, going okay. on?" That's right. You take damage, you give less. The thing about being a support is you kind of have to be alive to support everyone else. So that's why it hurt a lot. And if I went down, then you guys had no healing. So <laughs> it didn't even consciously go for for the healer it didn't know who who the heal or it might have it's not stupid but the the reason it went for ducky was was the closest one oh i That's was it. actually think it would go for uh Medjus character more because Medjus character is just noisy yeah they're doing that most of the time no but you mean like drug. that that would have been an obvious trap and it was like or maybe it, it had the human tree. intelligence at the very least so Oh, smarter so, than Jerry. <laughs> Personally, I was trying to think of like what the hell can we do to try and 
get vision on this thing. And the only thing that popped into my head was, let's burn, burn the tree. <laughs> let's see how that works. Is, isn't that like the symbol of Gondor or something? Yeah, the burning tree. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking about Lord of the Rings when I did that. I was just like, we need to see. We, we need to see this thing. Let's go. <laughs> Ecological damage. But wouldn't that make it harder to see when there's light and then there's fog, like soft light? Yeah. Technically, if it's yellow light, it's easier. It's hard if it's white light. So that would have worked. <laughs> but it went away from the tree instead. I mean, because it's not stupid. <laughs> I know. Right. Like, oh, a trap. I'm going to go towards it. It's not going to tell yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a beast, at least. You know? It's an <laughs> intelligent creature. Hey, I think you have limited options if you have three marshals and a healer. <laughs> no. Three or four, you know. I mean, yeah. A, a spell to... A wind spell to blow away the fog would have been perfect. <laughs> yeah, but, but I, I don't think we, we I don't think at second level you have that option to have to I have think wind. To but really... it doesn't it doesn't blow away everything. It's like it blows yeah, away like pro- one five by five or something. Yeah, yeah, cantrip. You know? It's like a it's like a fart, you know. <laughs> and then the fog consumes it again. Because though the, even the <laughs> water cantrip does something like that, I think. Change direction yeah. or something like that. Yeah, five by foot. Uh, five by foot. <laughs> no, I mean, like the water cantrip, I think, can do something to fog. I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway. <laughs> Shape water. Mm. Was it? And gust for the wind one. Gust, gust is one of the good ones that are underpicked, in my opinion. But, hey, no one picked it. Underpicked. Consistent. Well, it... It's a cantrip, right? I don't hmm. I don't think the cleric has that. Probably. Probably a druid thing also. Jerry could have probably got it. <laughs> no fighter. Jerry is fighter. <laughs> <laughs> surprisingly. No spells for me. I am a fighter. The only spell I need is my rope. I cast <laughs> rope. <laughs> what do you do on Very your well. turn? I cast rope. I have unlimited spell slots for rope. Anyway. <laughs> Why did it run run away? It when when we were able to corner it, right? Yeah, because it had it like got... two HP or something beyond a fence or a wall. I think the wall where I tried to high five a guidance onto someone and it didn't work. <laughs> you high five the wall and gave guidance to the wall. To yeah. be fair, when you do that move, it's normally a wall. So maybe that's how that. Move got invented. Probably. <laughs> Someone saw that and oh, that's cool. <laughs> I should do that to every overhanging wall I see from now on. <laughs> oh, do you, there, there's like a, not a sport, but there's a thing where you use post its and like you mark where you, like the highest. See who's highest. See so who's highest. Yeah. They, <laughs> people do that, but they jump really high. The ones I see on YouTube are like they jump like 10 feet or some shit like that. Some oh. ungodly shit. There are, pe- there are people around here in the Philippines that make stickers and then they just go around to certain places and, ju- and just stick stickers. It's like uh, oh. their form of graffiti. So, so sometimes when you see street signs that are like full of stickers, those are people that just go up there and brand it and they're like, and then they take a picture of it for their IG. Hey, look, I branded this thing. I branded that thing over there, that thing over there too. Oh yeah, that that there's a thing, huh? That's uh like street. Yeah, I, right? like I, I I remember someone in college who did that. He would design his own stickers and then he would just go around sticking it in certain places. He stuck one on the MRT. Pretty sure that's illegal. But Absolutely. also you like, have to hide your identity or something. Yeah, yeah, but then like, you post it. Right power. It's like you a, take a picture like a and post it. thing. We're claiming Ducky that right is now. Banksy. Claiming that right now. Thing runs away. We try our best to get to it, and as soon as it turns the corner and it's out of our sight, it just fucking dies. <laughs> because who do we find? We find Mr. Sos Mariosep himself. Dirt and daddy. Dirt and daddy. To be fair, you still wouldn't 
it's not like a hundred percent proven that 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 wasn't Durden Daddy, the the werewolf. <laughs> it could still oh. be him. You don't know that. Well, I would have known, right? <laughs> I mean, you didn't even know that your dad was an actual aswang, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Because it could have been, because yeah. he could have been the werewolf and just bit something. Like, bit a random person and blamed that person. JR, when you thought about Dirt and Daddy, what, 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 what came into your head? Just like every generic Pinoy Tito stereotype ever invented? No, because remember that was on the spot and I actually didn't think of it. And then like, oh, what, what, what's he, he going to be again? No, okay, Balikbayan's dad. Let's go with that. And our generation of Balikbayan's is, well, Rex no Barete, period. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, he, yeah. he, he should have, like, said something like, Durden, like, change your panty or something. <laughs> we we laughed that joke. <laughs> I was surprised when you when you when you voiced him that way. So I was like, it was surprising and it was super funny. <laughs> what was in your head? Like, how was your dad? I don't supposed know. To... Um, what, I think okay, no one prepared the... to what Durden's dad was supposed to be, even Durden. <laughs> when I came up with the backstory, um, my idea was this guy is a headhunter, which is a sina una class. Alab is a headhunter of this village, and something happens and he moves away right so it's just basic that something happens and he decides to keep the peace and move away so personality wise i didn't have anything i just read that's what i wrote down on the character and jr ran with it and made it uh rex navarete <laughs> no it's rex's dad rex or mom or mom actually or tito okay tito boy but is that tito boy <laughs> I actually have a tito. Anyway, um, I, I, I actually, yeah. I know mine's a cousin. Because there, for people who don't know, because there's a rec, old Rex na barete joke that all Filipinos have a tita baby and a tito boy. And if they're not your tito I or do. your tita, they're probably your cousins or something. But yeah, every family has a tito baby, uh, wait, tito boy and tita baby. I actually have a tito have... baby. So. And I, the cousin that's have... boy. So there you yeah. go. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what that's the idea behind Alab and when when JR voiced that that way, it was like I, I saw the connection. He was going for the our generation's Joe Koi, because today it's Joe Koi in the way. So, but our generation of Joe Koi is is Rex Navarrete. So yeah, so, when, when JR said, um, so you turn the corner and you recognize the guy. Oh, I recognize him. Who is he? He's Alam. Oh shit! That th- this is this is the thing. This is the father that I wrote. Okay. Oh, I wasn't prepared for it. <laughs> no, because he also he also wrote wrote Alam like as a as a backstory person. Hmm. Like Alam existed in the past, not like yeah, yeah. oh I'm, we're gonna meet him. Yeah, yeah. I I, I wrote it like uh, he was. He's retired. He's a. He used to be a hunt. When he came to the foreign air land, he he, from being a headhunter in his homeland, the islands, he became a bounty hunter, mercenary here in the foreign land. Like transferred his skills, and then now he's retired. So I was like, just to answer that question of where your parents are. So I didn't know that we were actually gonna meet. Well, to, <laughs> Alab. Be, to be to be fair, he was really retired and just came out of retirement because of the potential there are as one that followed me or I don't know not followed but coincidentally ended up here as well and yeah yeah so when we first saw Durden's dad he was pretty fucked up right mm. what if what if my sacred flame hit as soon as Ducky turned the corner but he have gone down he could have he could have Oh shit! I'm but sorry. Mean, but I mean, there would be dead saves and shit. So, yeah, I mean, I still have lay on hands, so no problem. Still, that that would have that would have kind of sucked. That would have been really funny too. <laughs> he is more powerful than you guys. Technically, he's just old, so it's like he probably has a higher save. Mm-hmm. And he rolled really yes, well. it. Yes, it's like anime warrior logic. The older you get, the stronger you get. And then you get until you Bertrand Bell and 
level down. <laughs> <laughs> what was it that he was telling us to do? There was something about your lineage, about your family or something? From Durden's perspective, the reason why his father Alab left the islands is there were, at least this is what I wrote, that JR changed up a little bit. Uh, what, what, uh, from Durden's perspective, uh, there were rumors that there was some Aswang lineage, or like we might have descended from an Aswang. And what Durden is aware of that Alab told him is that his father didn't believe those rumors, but he didn't want to, he didn't want that conflict. Like him trying to prove it and them trying to just forget it. Okay, you think this is, I'll just go. I'll keep the peace and I'll go. So he left the islands and found a place where he thought never existed. And the people here don't know where, where the, what the islands are. Basically, that's what I wrote. And that is uh, technically what Alab told Durden. So I mm-hmm. didn't change it. That is what Durden was told. <laughs> it's just that it was a lie. <laughs> I think what he was saying was, uh, we were in that scene. In the, I mean, sorry, in that game, the the mission, the quest was to find this new kind of monster that eats uh, its prey after it's buried, and we didn't know what that kind of monster that was. But the first thing we saw in the alley was this werewolf person, and then Alab was saying. Werewolves don't do that. So why are you hunting this guy? You should go straight for, you know. That's why. Yeah, but this is our only lead. That's why we're going after this guy. The whole point there was the sequence was actually two monsters were. Do- it wasn't one monster. So it was actually the werewolf who was killing, and the balbal was a- essentially an opportunist, just Scavenger. figuring. Oh, a lot of people are getting killed lately in this place. So I don't Scrap. need to exert effort. No, 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 no. <laughs> Kind of like a vulture or a. Coyote. They they kind of are actually. They don't, they don't really kill things. They and they don't in, hunt. in in our folklore, which is also how they're in Sinauna, it's actually they're kind of comedy as well. Because what they do is oh, yeah. like they they eat corpses, right? And then when they get corpses, they they replace it with a banana trunk or something. Oh. Like you, you would you would see graves oh. dug up. And then the, the, the corpse is replaced by a banana trunk. It's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that. It's weird. And like they, and in Sinauna, what they do is they use polymorph on the corpse. So they polymorph it to a pig, for example. So, hey, they're eating pig. It's, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's really it's weird. Like- wow. It's like they don't want to admit they're as well, but they go through with it because that's I, no, what they, 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 they don't. No, they don't polymorph it to like lechon or anything. <laughs> they, <laughs> they want they, to they, they morph it into like a dead pig or something. And uh, yeah, the whole balbal thing is weird. As well in denial. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's like um, blade identity blade. crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's like blade and blade two or something where he just. Farms blood or something. He does not identify. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a weird thing. Yeah. And then like, there are kind of parodies of Balbal where instead of replacing it with a banana trunk, they replace it with a piece of banana. So it's like, oh, the corpse became a banana. That's funnier. <laughs> like an actual one piece of banana. I don't know. Balbal are weird. <laughs> they're, hey, and they're the respect least respect their opinion. Yeah, and they're the least scariest as well because like they're not gonna kill you. They're ju- they just eat corpses. Mm-hmm. So like, I mean, you're dead anyway. I mean, they could be like, if I kill you, then you become a corpse, and then I can eat you. So you yeah. Yeah, but the thing <laughs> is, they don't. That is the weird thing about them. They really, they're uh, they're they're introvert as well. <laughs> <laughs> No, I feel sad for them. <laughs> no, oh man, ma- that makes us that makes our characters sound like complete assholes now. No, but we didn't know about that. We just know something's killing and something's 
eating their corpses. We didn't know that they were two separate things, right? We didn't know that the killers were the normal werewolves of this area and something new came along to eat the corpses. We just, yeah. So, but do but do Balbal actually kill people? From from what I know, they don't. Eat? That's the. Or maybe they That's do. Like if there are no people dying, maybe they do and just come back for the corpse. I don't know. Because <laughs> it would be dying. awkward. Like you kill somebody and then you're gonna be the one to bury it and then you're gonna be the one to pull it out of the grave and eat it. <laughs> it's like century egg. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna <laughs> ferment you first for like <laughs> ten days. A day? and they eat human you. kimchi. <laughs> <laughs> just sprinkle, just sprinkle it with bagong and then let it just ferment. They like the rotten taste. Or what's That's the, the what's the what what we do with the fermented. buro? <laughs> That's the Filipino one. Buro kanin, right? Which is just gross, by the way. I, I mean, nothing against people who like it. I'm just never gonna try that. Just fermented rice is just fermented rice. Why? <laughs> In what? I, I never heard of that. Buro? I also never heard of buro. Buro is just yeah. like I... fermented rice. That's it, I think. Or brine yeah. rice or something. Rice and brine and then fermented. It's... Hey. Bo- yeah, it's I not very common. I don't think I've eaten it before. I think it's, it's, a, it, it's an Ilocano thing. I'm not sure. There's just something weird I've, about I've you're already buro. fermenting rice and then you also add like fish to it and ferment it. <laughs> just no. I give up. Extra flavor. Prep. Prep time. Just us us going through a bunch of bullshit before the actual fight. Yeah, I think... Get soap damage. I had fun just dunking my character in a (laughs) barrel of salt. That was fun. I like that. I'm actually confused sometimes with with the whole Aswang in salt mechanic. Because, like, doesn't sweat have salt? Sweat. Th- there might be something yeah. specific to not just any kind. Let's say not table salt, for example. Like yeah, it's gotta be it's, it's rock salt. salt. It's salt. It's salt. gotta be sea salt. You know, I mean, I think it's I think it's specific. Maybe it's sea, depending it on the salt, region. But like, isn't the sea salt just? It's still yeah, like so, so sodium chloride, right, or something. Right, but but yeah. it's not the, the refined iodized table salt, you know, table. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm kind of like so. Would I feel like a sweaty monk would equally be as effective? So. <laughs> 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 or maybe, maybe that's why the Sinauna monk has the ability to damage Swang. Because <laughs> he's sweaty. <laughs> Palms are sweating. No, because the Sinauna monk gets Palms the... Because the mo- monks normally get that ability at level 6 or 7 where mm-hmm. you can change the damage type. The Sinauna mm-hmm. monk gets it a lot earlier. Oh, but maybe as, it's because it soon... has salt damage. <laughs> <laughs> it, it gets you, a lot you, sweatier you, by level 3. The, the monk <laughs> just puts it under his armpits first and before he punches. <laughs> What's it? Uh, what, 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 not Jabar damage. Uh, what's that? Potok damage. Because <laughs> uh, you know, deodorant didn't exist back then, so I wouldn't. <laughs> Tawas. 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 Was, it. was yeah. the deodorant back then? Uh, moving into the cemetery, like, I was fully expecting another fucked up fog fight where we weren't going to be able to do anything. So the first thing I wanted to do was to get into that freaking house or that mausoleum. Just so that, you know, if that thing decides to come at us, at least it, it's going to go through the doors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the funny thing with, the, with the, the fog city is actually the, the fog exists because it's a walled city. Mm. <laughs> so like the, the wall that's supposed to be your protection is technically the thing that's making it worse. But you do need to wall a city because that's what you do in olden times. Because, you know, yeah, invaders okay. and shit, right? But, yeah. <laughs> that's Kept why the, by the cemetery wall. didn't have the fog and stuff. That natural 20 on the guiding pole <laughs> was fucking amazing. That was, the, that was probably the best... In my entire time playing D&D, that was the best 
role I ever had. Because it ever. was a 20 over 24, right? And then... Yeah, it was like a that. 20 over 24 and it was a natural 20, so I doubled it for 40. <laughs> it was awesome. That is... That... Yep. How much HP did that thing have? After that 40 hit, uh, that 40 damage hit, how how much HP like did it have left? I think 60-something. I forgot. It was, just, it was quite big. No, the thing with mm. it is, as, as usual, the whole Aswab thing where they're like either immune or resistant to physical is what makes them hard. But you were all just prepared at that point. So, like, you could have hit for the 40 and it, it would have had, had like, let's say 65, so 25. And if everyone didn't have salt, then it would could have still been a problem because like the only person then that could hit it was the smite damage so yeah it's still yeah, so it, uh, ducky was ducky was setting it up for durden to finish it off this <laughs> durden's episode so smarty also <laughs> it had a lot of stuff it had it could cast polymorph it had oh, oh, although it only had one slot for polymorph it had long strider it had it had a lot of stuff oh. yeah the tarsier <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i was because because it was the usual one like the, the the turtle the mini turtle or something mm. the baby turtle is like yeah, can, can do better than that <laughs> that is the usual that, I... um tactic for those kinds of creatures like have less opponents than kill off the other ones but yeah it did 40 damage so <laughs> <laughs> That's I, I heard that I heard that Tarshears if you go up to one it smells like pee because they pee themselves a lot that's what I that's heard. all marsupials I, are, are they marsupials yeah yeah I, I think they're they're classed Cause, cause koalas, the, koalas are the worst apparently you just don't even. Mm. Their, ba- their, their babies eat the mama poop. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's why they eat, the, the, they eat eucalyptus, right? <laughs> what, they, oh, what, they, what, they, what they poop out is what the babies eat. Mm. Oh, I gross. did not Marsupials know that. are gross. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> but yeah. The, yeah, the koalas are like. Um, Because there are petting zoos, I think, for koalas. But, like, you can, but are you sure? But, yeah, we don't have that for Tarsiers because they're endangered and you're not supposed to touch them. And I think there was a a typhoon that killed, like, half of them or something. Half of the remaining ones, like, last year. Oh, shit. Really? I didn't know about that. I think it's last year or two years ago. There was a really big one. And then there was a preserve where, like, like, 40 of them on count mm. and then like after the typhoon all of almost all of the trees went down and they can only see like five or something so oh damn yeah that's that was why it's really bad. i don't know I, i'm not updated on what happened now it's like they were okay. able to find the rest or something but yeah a lot of them yep i don't even remember the typhoon i think it's the same one that hit oh it, i think it was the one that hit last december Oh, that's a strong one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, the really strong one. I think it's that one. So, yeah. Unfortunately. Hashtag save the tar shears. Save the tar shears. But, yeah, for, for those of you who don't know, they're te- technically monkeys. They're the smallest monkeys. This size. World. Have you seen one? Yep. Cool. Are, are I haven't they really gone to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fist size. Depending on your fist, though. But yeah, it's. And it's small. So, like, it's. You know, size of your heart because your heart is same size as your fist. So they're like bigger than this giant D twenty. Yeah, they're bigger. <laughs> they're not insects. I I need a bigger <laughs> D <D20>. twenty. <laughs> That's my takeaway. <laughs> anyway, you yeah. want a D twenty the size of a tarsier? <laughs> totally. <laughs> Roll your dice. <laughs> I have new dice. Co- <laughs> I have a new bigger. dice container, by the way. It's really nice. Uh, cool. Nice. It's Ooh. like a hundred plus in Lazada. The container, not the dice. What about Alamat Gaming? 
we should I'm waiting for their DM screen so I can replace this. They're making one and I'm gonna ask if they can make it special for me. <laughs> I'm gonna be demanding. Can we put the rock logo and the rock icon? And, and the sorry rock. <laughs> and something and something above so I can put my markers and stuff I, I, I'm gonna be a diva. I'm gonna pay for it though, so it's I mean I hope it I hope I hope they can do it, but if not then I stick to this one. <laughs> anyway. So after we kill this thing, it offers Durden an egg. I, I have a question for everyone. Did you know about the egg thing? No. Nah. No? Nope. I did. It wasn't top of mind knowledge, but when you mentioned it, I was like Hmm, that sounds something familiar. That's, that's familiar. I think I heard of that before. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's not. It's, it's the same for me. Like I totally forgot about that part of the lore, and then I was mm-hmm. I was re- as I was reading the Sina Una book, affiliate link below. Then oh oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like huh. It it, it 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 was something familiar when you mentioned it, but before you mentioned it, it it wasn't something that I knew about as well. Did, so did you guys? Think- Watch Trese. Oh. Did it never or read the whole Trese series? Did it, did it never come up? I don't I think it Netflix. ever did. I don't think it's. I saw a black egg. Oh, okay. And in the in the stuff. Netflix one, at least I, I haven't. Oh, read the, the Netflix comic. one, it, it, there wasn't. I read the comics. I don't think it ever did. At least I don't recall it. Interesting. All right. So they're done. You know when you watch uh, American TV series, uh, movies, and all that, and the second generation of the immigrant parents would would like oh all the stories from my childhood are true that that's what i was going for that's that's what basically yeah that that's what i was going for because i was thinking all the lore that alab has passed on to durden durden took it as truth when he was a child but as he grew older he saw them as like my parents were just making up shit stories to keep me well behaved because I was a naughty kid. Because he never saw proof of that in this foreign land, right? So it's like uh, crazy stories from my old man, from the old from the old country, whatever. It's also not just for Filipinos in the diaspora. It's also like if you suddenly saw a naswang now, like in real <laughs> life, you're really like, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> The right. legends nope. are true. No, no, but because <laughs> in this world, people in the islands know these things to be true, right? So I guess in this setting, Durden would not believe it because he had, we wouldn't have like yeah. physical access to it. And then here you go. Here's the crazy thing that my, my parents have told me about, my dad has told me about. It's a black egg that came out of a dying aswang. The the black egg is actually weird even for a D and D setting. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, come on. <laughs> like, like the, just the whole a monster regurgitating a black egg, and if you eat it, you become a monster. Like, mm. there's probably I have a more efficient ways to do that. But okay. <laughs> yeah, I have a question the... about the egg. Like, it was able to be cut in half, so it does boiled. Yeah, it's a solid egg. It's not. It's a solid egg. It regurgitated a solid egg, right? That's at least that's how I understood the description. That's why I said I cut it now. I never actually. I I I've always imagined it as hard boiled for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what is it supposed you eat to it? be. I, it doesn't say. It probably not, but I always imagined it as a century egg. Because <laughs> it's because it's black. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, when you were describing it, I was thinking century egg. I was. I, I mean, I wasn't thinking actual century egg, but I was thinking hard. <laughs> it never occurred to me that, oh yeah, it, it, eggs are not hard-boiled by default. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's canon now in this setting. Too late! <laughs> <laughs> in our I'm setting. Not- that would be wild, though, if chickens laid eggs and then they were hard-boiled as soon as they came out. That would be wild. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean like wild if you didn't know anything else if you didn't know that egg started as liquid inside and, and mm. saw 
a chicken day and egg and open it is, and you can eat it. I mean, I'm sure you wouldn't like. Eh, you would just be like, oh, yeah, okay, salt, salt, please. <laughs> Jan, did you actually did did you consider actually making your dad eat that egg so that he could survive? No, that's not. Uh, no, 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 definitely not. I I made it look that way. Not just kidding. No, I wanted to. Because right before we came into the fight, I asked you guys, "Hey, deliver this well rule thing to the quest giver." And I wanna, I want because Durden is, uh, at least the way I play him, he's very, he separates personal and professional. So, in prof- in when when we're on the job, let's just let's get things done, and then all the analyzing and all the emotional processing and all that he does that in private when his emotions will not put his teammates in danger basically so also, also when if he was, did that like Durden, Durden level 4 is 3 levels of Paladin and 1 level of something else now <laughs> because so, Crown Paladin no <laughs> can't do that <laughs> yeah yeah so basically um, the way I played him was when there's something that I, I don't understand I need to process this uh, in private so I'd, I'd like to that's why he said okay let's get the job done but I'll I need to talk to my or you do this first in the meantime so we don't waste time but I need to figure out what this is with my with the father right uh, when he got the egg the, the thing is I wanted to ask more questions about it because the questions that I asked prior to the fight felt it wasn't enough I was like okay here's the thing okay fine it, it looks real I'm starting to accept that that all your stories are true but he wanted more conversation so it's just like how do i really kill it how do i really destroy it why have you been why have you not told me about it, so it, it was just all that but when he saw that it looked suspicious like you guys were you don't why can't you just destroy it now so, yep fine i mean that that that's what he was thinking so it, <laughs> it was never in his mind to... <laughs> but it was Durden <laughs> <laughs> uh, was thinking i'm not gonna eat something I don't know what it is, especially if I see it come out of a monster's mouth. And I'm probably not gonna feed this to my father. I just I just wanted let that time to to process and ask and understand. So yeah, but turns out that's not enough. I mean slicing it like a century egg is not enough to destroy it. So I said, okay, I need to I need to find someone who can tell me what to do about it. If you would have eaten it or fed it to your dad, though, we'd be homebrewing the third edition Blackguard into fifth edition, which would have been food. Uh, oh, for, I don't for, know. What, what's the Blackguard? For people who don't know, in third edition, we have prestige classes, which is like you take X levels in one class and then you go back to level one in that class. And Blackguard requires five or six levels of Paladin. And then you turn evil on the next, which is mm. essentially a paladin with fucking sneak attack with with long swords. Your smite evil is now smite good, and it's like that. It, it it's like a flip. It's really good. It's a really good class. I mean, like <clears throat> mechanically, I forgot if it's actually really good, but flavor wise, it's awesome shit. And it's just like sneak attacking with long swords is just broken shit. But yeah, yeah. we would have been home brewing that or some thing like that. <laughs> so, your loss. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I had no, no intention of playing, yeah. uh, going evil. I just wanted, I wanted that yin yang conflict of there's something a little corrupted, but he's trying to be good. I, that's what I was going for. So at least, so yeah. He also Durden's. Physical look is also black guard ish, so people would have like, oh, is he doing this or something like that? Because the black guard oh, yeah? is obviously wearing black armor and stuff like that. Mm, it doesn't mean like I a black know. knight kind of thing, but yeah, because <laughs> paladins before would normally not wear black armor. It yeah, would yeah. I, I was be, going like, for shining yeah, armor yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going for like dark gray ish. Uh, you know, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it, but before, cause cause alignment before was stricter. I heard, I heard. So like, paladins would definitely be shiny, like lawful good, <laughs> like super shiny. lawful good, super shiny, Superman type, you know. Right. And like, if you 
go away from that, then you lose your paladin powers or something like that. After coming up with what to do with the egg, and it bas- it basically just like after you cut it in half, basically just like fused back together, right? No, I think it was Super it was still tough. half, but no, he Alan stabbed said, it. He didn't cut it in half. Oh, did I stab it and not cut it? Uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, he stabbed it. That's why it's like, and I was thinking yeah. it's hard boiled. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I like. So I think after I did that, I Alab said I'm not sure if that's enough. So I said, okay, I'll put it in a box. You know what? Let's just say yeah. it's fused. Like <laughs> so, how songs do it? <laughs> no, because I, I remember saying, uh, I, I want to get a box lined with metal, and there's a divider in the middle. I re- distinctly remember saying that, so that the two parts are separate inside yeah. the box. That, it's it's just hard to remember now, Tanon. <laughs> yeah, man. Like there's century no, egg. there's no going around it. <laughs> hmm. It's a century. Well, what egg. were you, what were you guys thinking? Did you guys suspect that Ada Durden wanted to eat that or give it to his father? What were you guys thinking? I was thinking he'd give it to his dad because like, yeah, I giving it to like, his dying. dad is totally a valid choice. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. I mean, my my character was kind of was kind of weirded out that you seem to not care about your dad at all. <laughs> No, 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 no. When you were interacting with him, he was like, "Are are you guys okay?" <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That was just. I I guess that was the personality I was going for. That I don't show emotion to, in public. You know, so, like this private thing, in front of these guys. I need you guys to go away so I can talk to him. You, uh, that that's what I was going for. We're on the job. Let's get the job done. And then and, I'll and fix the, the story would have been that. if Durden actually gave it to Alab. The story would have been you're you're now looking for a cure to get to mm. lift that swamp curse. So you'd probably end up in Sinaud in in the island still. So I don't think there's much more we can really talk about without you know spoiling stories that we're not really supposed to know yet. Because at <laughs> this point, Durden's going to the islands right now. Yeah, and. Uh, on the on the ship of uh, Mara, right? That's his name. Mm-hmm. Hmm, well, yeah. We can't talk about Mara. Mara essentially is a in one of the can, Canish games. So you, which you will never watch. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Just you will have to wait for the animated series. <laughs> <laughs> Start that shit right now. Do it. <laughs> Maybe in ten years. <laughs> Was but he, yeah, uh, he's like he's like some kind of smuggler, right? Like a dust or like dirt a, smuggler. Uh no. Um, what do you what do you guys found out about him in in the in the Kanish games? Was he is a bandit? Not mm. necessarily. You did. This is the first time you heard that he's a smuggler. Like mm. you know, he's like a you know he likes boats, 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 and that's it. <laughs> like you know, he, he, you know he's a right? sailor. No, he yes, was a, he, he was an X Raider when when you met him. An X Raider, yeah. that's what it was. Because right. you know, like pirates, raiders, Vikings. Mm. I mean, they're right, different, right. but you know, <laughs> seafaring, not so good guys. Now he's better because he's a smuggler. Oh, also, you don't know the timeline. Like, you don't know yeah. if which happened first. First. Yeah, this, right. the, the 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 origin stories are not in any that they're not they're not in chronological order. Right. So there it is. You'll have to wait so, for season one. As we're getting closer to the actual main game, uh, what do you want for your character to happen? Like, what, what's your goal for your character, Jen? So basically, that that yin yang thing, right? Like that. There's something. There's something evil in the lineage, in the ancestry. That's something in him, but he tries to be a good person. So I guess maybe one side sort of wins, or and maybe the other side takes over. But ultimately, I want it to be a heroic story. Ultimately, well, I want it to be a good ending. So maybe get to get a little bit more to know more about his father's homeland. But as in maybe permanently stay there. I don't know if he gets to find the cure maybe he wants to move back in because he solves that issue okay my dad was exiled because we're a swang but if I solve that issue then we can come back here and I get to know this other part of me through this because I've never known this 
entire group of islands and all the people here and its culture and its lore. So something like that, maybe. Or or he dies at sea and you get to play Durong. <laughs> <laughs> Not impossible. Or that. Or that, you know? You get you get eaten by a like a giant sea monster and <laughs> How are you? How is comes the... back a warlock? <laughs> oh, could be. How how is this game for you guys? Because it's this it's it's different. Where it's the, the most of it was in combat because it, like, yeah, that is the story. So it also mm-hmm. didn't turn out exactly how I imagined it to be. I imagined it to be a more like murder mystery kind of thing versus not murder mystery like because there's literally no murder mystery but like a more stealthy stealthy thing versus like a strategic pick mm. and attack kind of thing i enjoy dnd combat in general in whatever form shape or form it takes so i'm good i like that i got a nat 20 on the guiding bolt guys <laughs> doesn't get any better than that <laughs> It, it was great and all, but I have to say, uh, fuck Grayer. <laughs> I don't like the fog. <laughs> that is like the one of the because like sometimes people are like, oh, I'm gonna make the perfect human assassin, blah 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 blah, and then mm-hmm. no night vision, and then okay, you're in darkness. Oh fuck. <laughs> was it, There goes everything. Was it actual <laughs> natural fog or was it like magical? Fuck. No, it's just that it's really the, foggy and they built the wall. So, so, so it's cold. I, it's, I assume it's there, cold. it's cold. Yeah. Oh, it's like Canada-ish. I, I was a bit sad. I didn't get to use the flaming arrows that I <laughs> thought about. Why didn't you get to use them? You had flaming. Arrows? I, I think I. Because you did. lit I just them had and you never get to attack. And then I lit them. I think yeah, I like, attacked once, but it missed. So I was like, oh. <laughs> so you did get to use them you just didn't hit and then yeah because after you used that like it was just two turns I think before the yeah after whole end of so thing. it's like I have a good idea <laughs> oh, you got to use it once yeah I mean I enjoy combat as well um, it, it's just that yeah, it, I think it's the first time I was faced with that kind of obstacle that I didn't know how to overcome you know the something is faster I'm slower And then on top mm. of that difficult terrain, and on top of that, I can't see shit. So I, I it's like, so it was, it was a good kind of challenging. I, I should have made my flying just to <laughs> right. I mean, it Fly was by. Kind of challenging <laughs> that I had to make my brain work. Okay, this is not a typical combat. How do I overcome this? Okay, we need to dash. And you know, it, it, it was. It, I, I like that kind of problem solving. So. Um, so it was good. It was just uh, it it caught me off guard at first, but it was I liked it. I, I just yeah. also just realized that readying attacks doesn't really help much because you're getting opportunity attacks anyway, mm-hmm. and that mm. already takes your reaction anyway. So there so might no... as well just dash to get near. Yeah, it's, that's it was it was so thing. hard to get near it because it was moving fast over the the wall, back in, all around, running circles around. We were slow. Imagine if it's something for the that fly by. <laughs> yeah, good thing just, you didn't think of that. So <laughs> just, just no. <laughs> so for people who are watching this live-ish uh, in in Twitch, I think we're I think we're there's probably gonna be like a two three week break after this because this was shot before a couple of long weekends and there are a couple of long weekends something like something to that effect so there are like probably a few weeks where you get to wait for what comes next but after that we have one or two or more maybe I don't know origin stories and then we get to the main game hey yeah. uh, anything else affiliate links <laughs> some more, more throwaway characters yes. yes do we have Do we really have an affiliate link? Yeah, really? we do. Oh <laughs> shit! Okay, we we got one of those. I didn't know that the, it's possible. I sadly but... already bought Sinauna twice, so <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> Not those gonna buy are. it a third time. <laughs> I think Not we really. covered it. Yeah, yeah, we. I think we covered it. All right, in, in that case, we shall see you in the next yeah. video. Bye. Or you'll see us. Bye. Bye. Bye.